Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to shoot a video about liquid aerator products. So hold on just one sec. Hey guys, uh, man, I keep getting questions and questions and comments. And Doc, what do you think about liquid aeration? What do you think about liquid aeration? So I'm going to take a break from my day. It's a Sunday. Oh, there goes a butterfly. <laughs> Well, he really concentrates uh, and, and go over liquid aerator products and our thoughts and our research and our testing from this year. We've been testing them for about uh, seven, eight months now we've been testing them. So uh, before I get into that real quick, just make sure you click that subscribe button because we've got about 20 videos coming out over the next 30 days and all kinds of subjects. As a matter of fact, I just, you know what I just bought? I just bought a deer cannon. <laughs> a water blaster. So I've got perennials out front that are deer resistant, but they come in and they step on them. So I installed an automatically detecting uh, deer cannon that when they come close to my garden, it shoots water at them. It's really cool. Anyway, you don't want to miss that, so click subscribe. And we've done a ton of ton of updates to the website, howtowithdoc.com, including a new products page, and a new blog, and different things we're working on. Over the next year, that whole thing's going to be completely changing and updating. So you don't want to miss that. So let's talk about liquid aerating. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the two basic forms of liquid aerators, and then I'm going to explain what I think really works. So we've tested them out here, and I've tested them on different areas. I've tested on my entire lawn, tested different areas. I've done heavy, I've done light. Um, but there are two different basic forms. Number one is a surfactant, and a surfactant basically reduces surface tension. Um, and it allows water to penetrate faster into the soil, supposedly, is what it's supposed to do. Surfactant basically is like a soap, like jet dry. If you use jet dry in your dishwasher, uh, it helps remove the surface tension. And instead of, instead of beading, it cascades over the, over the glass. Surfactants to remove that surface tension and allow water, supposedly, to fall deeper through. To me, that really isn't liquid aeration. Um, that's just allowing water to transport through your soil. And basically, you're putting a form of soap on your, on your lawn. Uh, there are problems with membrane permeability in, in that if you put too much onto it. In other words, um, you can sort of soften the foliage and the roots of a plant and get damage. So I really would stay away from those products. The second group of products is essentially a humic based product so they're saying take the humic acid put it on your lawn and you're going to have a bunch of microbial activity you're going to be adding carbon you're going to add uh, chelating which is sort of the ability for soil to grab nutrients and metals and hold them better and it's going to create like little fissures inside the lawn okay that's true um but i'm putting down a humic product now anyways so do I think that it's, it's worth, the, worth the time and the money to put down uh, an extra step of going to a liquid aerator? No, I don't need to, and that's my answer. If you follow our program, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to create, all soil is a living environment, okay? It's a little habitat, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to boost that up really, really strong you're trying to get the nutrients to hold in the soil. You want your roots nice and healthy. Uh, you want carbon added to that soil. Uh, the most amazing thing that I've learned over the past 30 days is what amino acids do for your grass, especially during stressful parts of, of the summer and the heat where your plant doesn't have to produce its own amino acids. There are amino acids available to the plant. Huge difference in the health of a lawn. We'll get into that when we get into our fertilizers. But if you follow our program, which is a, um, um, an even blended fertilizer, like a 512 to a 1012, uh, right now I'm using Liquid Lawn, which is a 1012, link up on the website, where I've already got in, and within the next few weeks you'll be able to, you'll actually be able to, thanks to us, be able to order this new organic fertilizer that's 100% plant based, tons of amino acids. It's a 712. It has a very high carbon to nitrogen ratio. So it's a six to one carbon to nitrogen ratio. So when you put it down and you're feeding the, the microbial action when you do this. But if you'll put down a balanced fertilizer, if you'll put down humic acid, we like the product, the pelletized product, the humic DG, and we've put a link up that and I've got videos up on it. And you'll return, you'll return organic matter back to it. So make sure you're putting, when you need clippings, put clippings back on your lawn. That's really what's happening is you're, 
just think of your soil instead of being like red solid clay with just grass cut grass cut grass cut imagine putting a whole bunch of carbon a whole bunch of amino acids a whole bunch of um things that make that whole living structure just sort of boil and percolate i'm telling you what you can just tell my lawn uh, is just completely changed over the past eight months using our program and what we recommend. A few minutes ago I cut open a square of a lawn and I'm going to bring out the lawn. We used to have 100% solid red clay on this soil here on this house. Um, and what you're going to see is the first two to three inches it's starting to turn into that dark soil that really is like a garden soil now after only about eight months. It's amazing what you can do and what you can do to your soil. but. If you hear anybody say, I put something on my lawn and a couple days later, man, it was just amazing. There is no product out there that within a few days or even a few weeks is going to turn your song, turn your hard rock soil into some amazing dirt. It's just not going to happen. I've gotten to the point, I'm telling you what, my lawn has done so well and looks so nice and the soil is such good health. I'm probably going to skip physical aerating next year. I mean, I, I've... I, the only thing physical aerating is going to do is every so often punch a hole, you know, that that's deep in the lawn. And I'll be honest, with what I've done this year with uh, improving the soil fertility and the soil quality and the aeration of, of the microbial activity, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing physical aerating. I'm just going to continue on this program. So let me tell you exactly what we're doing on our lawn program. You can go to the Bermuda grass calendar. Um, if you go to my blog, there's a preview of the 2019 sort of reminder. It's a circular calendar that you can see. Yeah, that's just sort of a trigger. And then we'll have a page and a new video up for 2019 that tells you specifically what to do. And it's not just Bermuda grass. You can use it for all, for all your lawns. But essentially what we've done is a broad spectrum fertilizer in a ratio of a 512 to a 712, whether both mixing granular and a spray, put down the humic product. We like Humic DG, and I've got a link on the website to that. Um, and those two main things are the biggest thing, but then also this year, adding the organic. It's a plant-based um, plant fertilizer. It's a 712, has a ton of amino acids, and basically what you're doing is you're feeding the microbial action in your lawn. That microbial action is actually eating this fertilizer and releasing all, those nutri all these nutrients out of it. And you're putting down amino a ton of amino acids, which are again, I'll do a video on amino acids in your lawn later. Um, um, uh, you're putting down a bunch of carbon. You're putting down fertilizer as your lawn needs. It's a slow release. You're talking it lasts for anywhere from six to ten weeks, roughly in there. 100% um, organic. Again, to get that organic label on your bag, there are very, very few products that actually can be awarded that organic label. This is one of them. I'm trying to think if I'm going to do a video, I actually want to eat some of it. It smells pretty decent. So i got to figure out if I can eat it or not. But uh, that's basically it. That's my opinion on lawn fertilizer, um, excuse me, on liquid aerators. Liquid aerators, if you're following our program, you do not need to use a liquid aerator product. Um, you're essentially putting the same sort of things out already. And like I show, I'm going to show you here in a second, when you cut open that lawn and you pull it up, it's pretty cool looking. Okay, so I was going to come out here and do this without you guys, but I figure, I figure why not just let you so you do it. I'm just going to go around and just cut a square out of this. But one thing I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you that number one, Bermuda grass roots. Bermuda grass roots can actually go up to, I think it's like six feet deep. However, um, majority, 80% of your Bermuda grass roots, 80% of the roots will be in the first three to three to eight inches of the soil. And you can see that from this example here. But what I want you to see is, I want you to see the dark, rich soil up here, the first two inches and then how it starts to return to the clay. I think that's an important lesson that we're gonna gain from this today. See if I can do this without breaking it up so you can see what I mean. So you can see how, see how it's solid red clay at about four or five inches? Then as you come up, it actually starts to get rich in microbial action 
it actually has more of that rich topsoil look to it. And that's what we're trying to gain here. So let me put this back. See if you can see that. And I don't think you can see it in the hole, but it actually is kind of dark black all the way down to about here, and then it returns to the red clay soil. All right, let's put that baby back in there. Look at that, good as new. <laughs> no one will ever know. Did you steal my one of my tomatoes? Did you steal one of my nasty tomatoes? Did you find a rotten tomato? You don't eat rotten tomatoes. That's very, very bad. You don't eat that. That is not a good girl. Bad. I'll kill you with one chop. With one chop, I can kill you. Cry chop, cry chop, cry chop, cry chop. <laughs> She's an absolute nut. <laughs> I love her to death. She's an absolute nut. She does that crap all the time when I got my back turned filming. So anyways, guys, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Like the video, don't like the video, click one of the two, I don't care. If you hate it, click hate. <laughs> There's no hate button, just like or dislike, I don't care. Click one of those buttons, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this idiot putting out more videos. Go to the website. Again, I got all the product links up on the page so you can look at all the products. I'll talk to you later. Doc.